Welcome back. And this is our pretty little Mateo. So here we are for a review of where we are. Yes. Hi, sweetie. All right. So Mateo's been struggling with um, the heat down here in Florida. And so unfortunately for him, he cannot go out with the other horses right now. So <laughs> I'm coming, I love it. Um, so yeah, you know, once they have their lunch and Zor is put out, then Mateo is open to the paddock. It won't always be like this. Come here, sweetie. But he's got to physically acclimate. Come here, babe. Pushy horses, pushy, pushy horses. Mateo is typical of being pushy for all the right reasons. I say it like that because some horses are pushy and they're truly disrespectful and dominant, but not Mateo. He is very, very relationship oriented and sweet and intelligent. And he just hasn't been taught how to respect your space. And he also has a little bit of stallion like behaviors and tendencies, not aggressive at all, but combined with not being well socialized, if you look, he has a bunch of bite marks on his neck that are healing here and especially on the other side because when he's let out of his stall and Zor is locked in his stall, he goes up to Zor without asking for permission and Zor goes after him. And then when he's out with the more passive horses out here, he just pesters the heck out of them. And he's not aggressive though. He's not kicking or biting anybody. Thank God. Sweet, sweet, sweet. All right, handsome. So this is gonna be Mateo's uh, first day in the round pen. We have spent all of our time here in the barn and around the barn and pasture and in his paddock. You don't have to start the work in the round pen. You can start it anywhere, but the round pen certainly does help. And I really wanted to work on Mateo's, uh, his ability to bond and have a relationship. And just because of that, and of course, in combination with how quiet and harmonious it is here. Hey, look how quiet he is. Very quiet, very quiet, very quiet. I, very quiet. So we like that. Okay, buddy. Yep, good boy. So he's been learning quietly, whoops, I forgot, how to back out of your space, how to back away when you're fed, how to send, you know, all the important things. How to be led, he loves to be hosed off now. He's really cute, he really, really likes that. But this is good, he is not breathing heavy. Um, when was it? Today's Friday, so earlier, I think it was Monday, I mean, he was here at two o'clock. I took a video with my phone. It was frightening. I could see him breathing heavy standing under the shade tree, brought him in, hosed him off, been hosing him off every day, that he's been out. But now that he's not out, he's able to regulate himself. So this is nice, he's just enjoying. Yeah, not trying to rush out. You haven't been asked out, you have not been invited out. Thank you. So, here we go. Our first day out of this barn. <laughs> yes, cuteness. Come on, Bubba. Let's go see Love Bug. Oh, look at that face. Look at Lovey. Show Lovey. Oh, look at that face. She says, don't you bring that handsome thing over here. I will bite him. I want nothing. Look at that. You're so good. How'd you get so good? How'd you get so good? Little bit. I knew she'd get him. But she's really all, all bark and no bite, really. She doesn't really bite. I know she latches onto the baby, but she never leaves a mark. I know. <laughs> she's like, yeah, I'm all that in a bag of chips. You're so good. So we've been doing lots of little stuff every day. Come on, handsome. Off we go. 
Yeah, good boy is right. <laughs> Yep, so this is Mateo's first time here in this area. We call this a common area between the two barns. His job is to pay attention to me and to learn how to move out of my space with energy and rhythm. Good, so let's just see how he's responding to his environment. Eating grass would be excellent. Could mean a couple of things. But with his really easy going personality, eating grass would show me that he's really relaxed. For some horses, eating grass is like it is for people. They eat because they're nervous and it helps them self-regulate or preoccupy themselves so they don't have to deal with what's really over-facing them or over-stimulating them. Yep, I'm here, I'm here. Yeah, so it'll be interesting putting you around the these other horses, yeah. So what I would like to teach Mayo, Mateo, my brain is fried. <laughs> Mayo, Teo, you were calling him Teo. I love that. That's right. Yes, I'd like you, well you're bonded, so this is perfect. Why don't you stay joined up with me? That's not what I want. So what I want to teach him is to stay with me and to start to discipline his mind. Yep, discipline your mind and just get quiet. Let's just get quiet. Yeah, let's, this is how we handle meeting new horses and how we handle new environments. With ease, oh, here comes the poop, here comes the stress. So he can be a very excitable horse. He was very excitable when he came here, that is for sure. <clears throat> but we're here to get more information and to teach him how to self-regulate. Yeah, and I'm gonna help him. Yep, 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 good boy. <laughs> you, you're doing fabulous, buddy. It's amazing what you can do with very little if you do it right. You don't have to run these horses around to exhaust them. You can mentally and emotionally work on them. Hi, boys. Come on, Mateo, thank you for checking in. Thank you for waiting. Thank you, oh, look at that, guys. Look at that stop with me at the shoulder. Beautiful. Sobroso, you are a kicker, and I want you out, or I'm gonna nail you. Come on in. I'm gonna nail your, nail your butt, buddy. So I'm gonna protect Mateo. Come with me, you're with me, buddy. You do everything I do. So you don't have to worry about them. Out, both of you. Yep, out is right. Oh, I knew that was happening. Are you kidding me? <laughs> he's five and when they run, he's gonna wanna run. No, you're hooked to me, sweet pea. He's like, what just happened? You're hooked to me. Yeah, yes, yes. We will work with other horses, but not today. Thank you, bro bro. Out of my space. Yep, respect my space and pay attention to me. Thank you. I know you're excited. Lots of new stuff, so we'll just take our time. So what happens often is we don't pay attention to these thresholds and every foot, every five feet, every 10 feet, the horse is escalating. And then you get to your area to work with them and the horse's mind is blown. And it goes into self-preservation mode, whether it shuts down because it's overwhelmed or the horse goes into fight or flight. So just take your time, slow down, let him get used to all of this. So much of this is just experience, lack of experience. And then of course a lack of, they don't know how to handle it, how to socialize, how to be. I will help him when he's ready. He will work with a couple of my schoolmasters. He will learn, he will learn, he will learn, and he will be self-regulating and everything will just naturally come into place. Thank you, Baba.
Thank you, bro bro. You can come watch the broso. <laughs> yep, good. This is very good, believe me. I've had young horses try to pull out of my hands and go buddy up with somebody right away. So much should be done with the bonding process. We've spent over a week now. What was it, 10 days you've been here? Something like that. And we have spent a lot of time, lots of small amounts of time throughout the day bonding and doing small thoughtful things together. If I hadn't started that approach, then coming out here for the first time just would have been reckless, you guys. He would have been bolting out of my hand constantly. He would have been overstimulated and reactive, screaming because he's feeling insecure and trying to find attachment. Yeah, but well now he has attachment with me. Plus he was overheating, so it made it easy to stay over there in the cool fans, the stall. I couldn't really bring you out here. This is awesome. How much you can do by not doing. Thank you. Knees breathing heavy, he's taking it all in. Good boy, look at that turn. I didn't even have to do anything. Amazing. So right now, as you guys can see, he's really breathing. He's taking in a lot of different scents. He's trying to drop um, and he'll drop out of relaxation. But if he has any stallion-like qualities, he'll drop because he's becoming territorial, which is why he's breathing so heavy. He's taking in scents and that's fine. He's, he's a great horse. He's not aggressive. I don't have to worry about him um, acting like a stallion uh, and being a little bit you know, dangerous per se but I don't want to let him offline right now because he's just going to go and blow. So I'm going to hold his hand and we're going to stay online. If he was able to stay here quietly with me and not do all this deep breathing and starting to posture like a stallion, I don't want him to escalate. Okay. I don't want that to be his first experience with me in here. I don't want him to learn that that's how we, we be, we're not going to be that way. So this horse, um, has had some formal education in dressage. He pulls a carriage. He's five years old. What the hell? You should just be starting right now between four and five. So we're going to start with the half circle. He already understands how to back up. He already understands how to um, move the shoulder out. Now I want to see how regulated he is. Can he calmly go? back and forth at a walk. Pay attention. You and me lock on. I need you over there. And so here we go with the focus game. Good boy. Good. Isn't that cool? Pretty cool. You want to come in Sabrina? But for you guys over there, you just saw a horse learn the focus game like that because he was open to learning. And he's already bonded with me, so he trusts me. So this is discipline. Yep, until I ask you to move, you will go and stand over there. So for all of you that want to learn how to tie horses without tying them, start here. <laughs> discipline the mind. I learned the hard way a long time ago. I'm not going to talk about it right now but it ended in disaster. So a horrifying experience. And what these horses go through to be tied or hobbled is disgusting. Ah, I barely had to do anything. Good boy. Let's see if you can go. Oh, nice. Nice. Good boy. Let's see if you can relax. So Frisians, by nature, their confirmation is exactly what you see. But he has an enlarged U-neck, overdeveloped under muscle of his neck. And with my training, we are going to learn how to stretch that neck, lengthen it, and strengthen it. It's really fatty, um, like a stallion. They probably cut him about a year ago because they like that thick neck. Yeah, there you go. Just relax, lick and chew. This tells me a lot about you. So when he came, he also came with some kind of calming 
um, I don't know, natural, holistic, calming, whatever you give horses, which I don't give them because we're gonna calm him my way, naturally, not with any kind of herbs, but it's, he was very excitable. And the videos that I saw of him, he was running around, he's got an amazing movement, very well-bred horse. Go on. Good boy. Good, good boy. Yeah, good boy, there you go, yeah.